Good morning and welcome to my channel. Today is another exciting video because we got Lisa Eldridge stuff. Oh, so exciting. Um, Lisa Eldridge definitely is just somebody that I look up to just in her career, her personality, everything about her I adore. And I'm just loving all her products. I'm wearing her foundation right now, which I'll talk a little bit about that. I'm wearing uh, her highlighter, um, anything that's it. But I'm going to put all these lipsticks on. I'm going to try them on. I got um, some lipsticks, some lip liners, and I'm just so excited to play with this. She came out with four new velvet lipsticks, which are my favorite formula of lipsticks, period. Um, I Velvet Affair and Velvet Fawn are my favorite ones and Velvet Dragon. I feel like I use Velvet Dragon a lot. Um, so if you guys are interested to see the swatches, see my thoughts on it, um, thoughts on the foundation, uh, please continue watching. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe down below. So let's talk a little bit of the foundation. Whenever I purchase these, um, she sent me a sample as well. I got the second sample card. This is, I think, the light second. Uh, so it includes 05, 06, 07, and 08. Right now I used 08, which is uh, the darkest out of them all. And I almost feel like I want to go even darker. Um, it's Right now I think it literally works perfectly. Um, and I'm at my lightest right now. So it works, but I do tend to self tan. And if I just had it just a little bit darker, I think I would prefer that. But I will swatch them for you so you guys can see um, in case you're around my shades. Uh, these are just the swatches that I was able to get from these. So these are the samples. You have number five, which is light with neutral undertones. You have number six, which is light with golden undertones. Number seven, light with neutral undertones. And number eight, light with peach undertones. I personally am more of a neutral to peachy undertone. I'm not quite warm, like yellow. Um, I'm just kind of a mix. Usually I try to go between neutral. Uh, on my Armani Luminous Silk, I go towards peachy undertones and sometimes that olive number six, olive undertone. Um, and so I feel like I'm a little bit of all of them. I'm not just one undertone, but usually I try to stick to neutral, but the neutrals were very light. So I had to go with number eight, which I thought it worked really well. I went out and looked in the natural uh, daylight and it seems to work really well. When you swatch them, they're a bit more intense the undertone but once you blend it in it it's not that shocking it blends really nice into the skin now the foundation i was a little surprised at what she came out with uh it's more of a matte satin finish it's not full matte but it's not glowy at all um and on my drier skin i have no more normal to dry if it felt more matte um, and it's more of a medium coverage. It's buildable. It's not this sheer layer of foundation. Uh, I, I think when I thought of Lisa Eldridge, I always thought of like, like more perfected skin that had a glow to it. But it kind of makes sense at the same time that a satin finish is the most natural one. We don't naturally have like super glowy skin uh, unless you're oily. Um, but our skin, like for it to look like skin, it, having this super glowy foundation isn't really realistic. Right now on the skin, I don't feel it on. It's uh, lightweight, but it covers well and it hasn't settled in my fine lines whatsoever uh right now i haven't done great with my skincare just for the past couple of days and i you can tell like my skin was feeling just a little bit drying and i was kind of afraid to see how the foundation will go over it but it did well it did really well and um my pores looks good nothing is emphasized 
and it looks great. I personally prefer more this um, finish that has a radiance to it than the the satin matte feel. Uh, just overall, my preference with foundations tend to be glowier. And this, do not expect that. It is not a glowy foundation, but it is beautiful. It looks so perfected. This is something that I probably wear uh, if I'm photographed because it's not gonna be too glowy. It doesn't reflect light. Um, like, oh, if you have a flash or anything like that, it, I think it would look beautiful. Um, and yeah, it's it's more perfected than I was expecting, but done in such a way that it still looks natural. And I think you could even use less and pinpoint just certain areas um, if you want to do that. Overall, I really enjoy it. Uh, I, I think it's a great foundation and I'm excited to purchase the bigger one. Uh, I will leave in my description just how we wore throughout the day because I will be wearing it all day and just my thoughts, my final thoughts on it. But so far, it looks beautiful, beautiful on the skin for the finish that it's at and for it not to get dry around this area or around my smile line. Like that's, that says a lot about the foundation. But once I purchase the big one, I'm sure I'm gonna use it more in the videos and give you my final thoughts. But first impression, I really enjoy it. It's not what I was expecting, but I'm excited for it. Okay, moving on to the lips. Um, so I purchased three of her lip liners. She came out like last time with lip liners and I didn't purchase any. Uh, I don't know why, but I just didn't feel like I needed them. But now I'm just so excited because it has such good reviews. So I got Dragon, Fawn, and Affair. I got Dragon because Dragon is one of my favorite lipsticks. And like red lipsticks. And I've been wearing it a lot. And I got Affair and Fawn just because they're good neutral ones. So these are the colors that I got. I'm going to swatch them. Ooh, they seem so creamy. That is a Velvet Dragon, Velvet Affair, and then let's try it Velvet Fawn. So those are the three colors, Velvet Dragon, Velvet Affair, Velvet Fawn on the bottom. Velvet Affair seems to be the one that I probably would, like my perfect nude color. Let's move on to the lipsticks. So I have here, let's see what I got. A Velvet Intrigue, like all her new ones. Velvet Petal, Cinnabar. Uh, I got Velvet Ribbon because I never got it before. It's like her pure red one. And then we have Velvet Blush Lightly. Look how beautiful the texture is on these. It is just so stunning. Okay, I am going to start trying these on. I'm probably going to go from the lightest to the deepest. I also got one of her um, little lip glosses. I, I've never tried them. And I got like this bright color just because I love Velvet Dragon. So let's see, which one is the lightest? I think Velvet Intrigue is her lightest one. It's right there, ooh, and that looks beautiful. Let me swatch Velvet Petal. Because, yeah, that's a little darker. So Velvet Intrigue is definitely the lightest one. So let's swatch this one. Her packaging is stunning, I already messed it up. But it's just beautiful. Like you have like velvet on the sides. So pretty. So let's try this on. So this is a Velvet Intrigue and oh, it's so beautiful. The undertone uh, is what makes Lisa Eldridge like colors just so unique because it's just not too much yellow it's not too much blue it's 
It's just such a beautiful neutral undertone and it is stunning. I probably would wear this with a lip liner, uh, but so beautiful. I'm loving this. Okay, let's try Velvet Petal. And I did swatch it right here. It's definitely more of a pink color. This is Velvet Petal and ooh, it's a beautiful pink. I'm not a huge fan of pinks, but I'm a fan of this just because the undertone. It is such a beautiful, almost warm undertone, but it's still a pink. Beautiful. It's just stunning. Um, and I think I would wear this with a rosy cheeks and mascara on. Like, just let this be just the show uh, in my makeup looks. I probably wouldn't combine it with like heavy eyes just because it's such a beautiful, rosy, warm almost color. Um, it definitely looks like a petal of a flower. So this is petal. Moving on to blush lightly and I swatched it right there and it's a more deeper, a little bit more cooler bluish undertone compared to petal um, right here. So these, I, I feel like they have more of a, that yellow undertone, but this definitely has more of that um, bluer undertone. Um, now, because I'm more light, for me, these tend to look pretty dark on my skin. If you're a little bit more tingy, they're obviously going to look lighter. Uh, so I just want to point that out because how it looks on me, it's probably not going to look on you unless you're like similar skin tone as me. These just have such a beautiful finish to it and it's like full opacity. This is Velvet Blush Lightly, and you can see it's a little bit more mauve than the petal, a little bit more deep, but even though it's deeper on me, it's not it's not obnoxious. I feel like it would I could just wear it like this, pat it a little bit, and it just looks beautiful. Uh, I think she does such a good job with deeper colors where they're not too obnoxious, too out there, they're wearable. I'm gonna pat this. I'll rub it off a little bit. Because this color to me, it's beautiful, almost like a stain. Uh, almost like you had some berries. And it's a little bit more messy on the outer area. Kind of like this um it's not as perfected this is how i like this color and i actually like it with this eye as well i think it's just fun um it's such a beautiful shade i was a little bit worried that it probably would be just too intense for me but i could see myself wearing this often it's a beautiful feminine color. So this is Blush Lightly. All right, I have a Velvet Cinnamon and Velvet Ribbon. Ribbon is not a new one. Oh, look at that. It's like the most perfect red. I will swatch it here. It's so intense. It has more of that uh, bluish undertone. It looks beautiful. Um, you know, I wanted to get this one just because I wanted her velvet ribbon. I've heard so many good things about it, and I just wanted to just try it on. Um, why don't we just put it on? Why not? I know it's not new, but you guys can see how it looks. Well, it's so pigmented and creamy at the same time.
wow what a color i feel like i've been missing out it's stunning it definitely is that perfect cool tone red so beautiful so so stunning this is velvet ribbon and uh it's well worth the hype i almost feel like it's creamier than the lighter shades uh it almost has like a sheen to it on my hand compared to the other ones these seem to be just a little bit drier this seems to have a little bit more glide to it and creaminess this is velvet ribbon well my lips are stained but that's okay because we're going to go with velvet cinnabar which i think everybody is the most excited this is a beautiful like burnt red oh, i'm so excited okay this is my favorite out of all of them for sure um, such a unique color it's like vibrant and intense but at the same time i could go out like this and just not feel overly done uh, beautiful beautiful i made a little bit mess there but that's okay because we'll take it off but absolutely stunning i actually think when i'm going to purchase the full foundation i'm going to take get a lip liner for this and velvet ribbon um i got the velvet um dragon one but it's very different i feel like it's not gonna work and this is so unique the undertone so unique and deeper um that i think i think i'm gonna get those lip liners as well so this is velvet ribbon Okay, I have been gone for like a couple hours. I had an appointment, kind of forgot about it. So I came back um, and you know, the foundation looks very good uh, and very perfected still, even though I had the baby pool on me. I did an eye exam, so I was like, you know, like all this was messed with. It still looks so good um okay moving on i want to try these lip liners i'm such a fan of lip liners in general i almost never ever not have a lip liner so let's start with fawn this um i love the lipstick fawn And I will fill it all in uh, and I may put some other lipsticks on top of this, probably the petal or the lighter one. I still had a tiny bit of red left over, but... <laughs> Okay, so this is Fawn by itself and I love it. Wow, I really like it. Usually I think I wear just a little bit darker, um, but for any lighter lipsticks, this is beautiful, more of a nude. So with this one, I think Intrigue would work really well. So I'm gonna put this on. Yeah. I love this combination. This is such a good go-to nude lipstick for me. So good. I'm I'm surprised they work so well. I think I thought Fawn may be a little darker. Let me swatch it. Okay. Oh no, <laughs> it's not. So that's the Fawn lipstick and then the lip liner. I wanna swatch Fawn with this lighter one, Intrigue. Yeah, so Intrigue is lighter, but it works so well with that lip liner. 
All right, let's take this off and swatch the affair one. All right, I did pat it with foundation. Uh, so now it's like just even. Um, let's try affair. These are so creamy and pigmented on first application. So that is a fair and it definitely has that brownie undertone. I'm trying to think what to pair this with. Um, I think my only option is petal. Uh, although I think intrigue would still work better. Um, yeah, I think just blush is just too cool tone. Let's just try it with just petal. I really like that combo. I think it looks so pretty. Um, I have Velvet Affair here and I kind of want to swatch it next to that lip liner. So it's not this one. That just won't come off. It's these two right here. Honestly, I feel like Velvet Affair is almost darker, th the lipstick, than the lip liner. And it has a slight more brownie undertone, the lip liner. I spread it out. So that matches just a little bit better. But yeah, that's like the comparison. This seems more of a almost a brownie yellow undertone. Uh, and I think it's just stronger, the undertone, than the actual Velvet Affair. Okay, let me take this off and try the last lip liner. All right, the last one is Dragon, and I also got the gloss. Um, I've never tried her glosses, so I'm really excited. Mm. Okay, so this is Velvet Dragon, the lip liner. I'm loving it. These lip liners are super, they are very smooth. So there's very, a lot of pigment, they glide well, but the finish is dry. So like, I think they're going to last a long time. Oh, and that's just the lip liner. Okay, so this is the lip gloss and I am here for it. Uh, I just got one from Merit, and I also have another one that's similar to this that has more of that orangey undertone. That is from Vesca. So that is a Velvet Dragon. Yes, yes. Okay, let's put this on. This is almost deeper than the lip liner. Yeah. So that is the gloss, the Velvet Dragon gloss. It's so beautiful. It has a sheen to it. It's not too shiny. Um, and, and it feels so smooth, but it feels like it's gonna stay in place some more. Like I, I know it's an intense color for a gloss, but I don't feel scared to um, just wear this throughout the day and get it everywhere. I'm sure it's gonna come right off if you like eat a burger or something, but if you just talk and I don't know, it doesn't seem like it's gonna move everywhere. So those are all the products I got from Lisa. Um, and I will round up my thoughts about all of these. Let's start with the gloss. The gloss is beautiful. I love it. I love these kinds of already undertone. Um, I think it looks pretty and it feels like stable. It doesn't feel like uh, it's gonna go everywhere. Now the lipsticks. The lipsticks that are lighter, like the Intrigue Petal, those seem to have, I would say, a little bit more dryness to them compared to the deeper ones. The deeper ones almost have like a sleek to them. I think it's probably connected to the pigments. Um, so that is one thing that I've noticed. The colors though, um, the Intrigue 
is probably my most favorite in the nude category. So beautiful. I just love this undertone. I like how light it is. And I think you can mix and match. Um, like I could put this one on top of a fair uh, or fawn. It's beautiful. The next one is Petal, and I'm surprised how much I like Petal. Somehow she does something with the undertones that they, they just work. Uh, I think that's her strength, is just knowing color and undertones so well. So I really enjoy Petal. It's not too pinky, but and it's not too cool tone pink. It's just it's just beautiful. It's almost like a warm pink next is blush lightly and for me this is still pretty intense the way i see myself wearing this is more of like tapping it and not actually just swiping it probably tapping it and just like almost like it's um a muted color uh, more like a berry bitten lip um, that's kind of how I see myself wearing this color. I want to compare this with the color Beauty. So here's the Velvet Beauty and it kind of reminds me, well, it's kind of the same. So the Velvet Beauty is just a little bit more pinky and a little bit brighter. And this is a little bit more muted. Uh, but it reminds me on the lips. It has similar effect on my skin tone um, And even that one for me, I can't just wear it full on. It's just a little bit too intense I just pat it uh, After I apply it, I definitely take some off and that's kind of how I think I'm gonna use um, The oh my gosh the names I keep forgetting the blush lightly I'm gonna use it in a similar way now velvet ribbon Wow Wow, it's just the perfect red. And then Velvet Cinnabar is probably my favorite out of all of them. Just this color, this undertone, it's just perfect. I know everybody who's kind of excited about that color and just look at that. For me, the pinks are pretty pink. Uh, the, even the blush lightly is a little bit intense. Uh, the Cinnabar, of course, is super out there, but I can still wear them, all of them. Um, because of the color, the undertone, it's super pigmented yet somehow very flattering. And I, I don't feel out of place wearing any of these on any given day. I think they're stunning. She did an amazing job with these colors. Um, now the lip liners, I'm probably the most excited about because I'm such a lip liner fan. I wear them every single day, no matter what. And I love how creamy they are, yet it sounds bad saying drying, but like it, they, it, they're dry. Um, it, they're not slippery. And I feel like they're going to last a very long time. And I'm planning to pick up uh, the Velvet Ribbon and the Velvet Cinnabar. Or it's just like Ribbon and Cinnabar, I guess. Uh, in the lip liners because that Cinnabar color, I don't think I have a lip liner to match this one. It's just that unique. And I'm thinking of Velvet Muse as well. I'm really liking the lip liners. And that is all for today. I want to know, did you guys pick some up? Um, what are your thoughts? What are your favorites? I saw that some of the lipsticks are already sold out. Bummer. And I know she doesn't really bring them back in stock, but like once or twice a year. So hopefully you got what you wanted. I don't even know if the lip liners are in stock, the ones that I want. I don't know we'll see um and i'm excited for this foundation it's one that's just a little bit more matte satin than what i usually wear however it is performing amazing it just looks like my skin it's just a little more perfected so it's stunning i'm excited to get the foundation as well and that's all for today i'll see you guys in my next video bye